Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome everyone to our online NPTEL course Environmental Chemistry and Microbiology. This course will be taught by Professor Shudha Goel and myself Professor Anjali Pal. We both are from Civil Engineering Department IIT Kharagpur. We have divided this course into two parts. The first part is Environmental Chemistry. It will be covered by myself and the second part is environmental microbiology that part will be taught by Professor Shudha Goel. In my first module, I have discussed about the acids, bases and salts. In my second module, I explained the chemical equilibrium. In the third module, I discussed about the chemical kinetics. In the fourth module, I have discussed the catalysts and this is my fifth module. In this module, I will discuss about the nitrogen chemistry and the chlorine chemistry. This is my lecture uh, number 21 where I will talk about nitrogen and this is the part A of this lecture. So, the lecture content is the nitrogen chemistry, nitrogen fixation and nitrogen cycle. We all know nitrogen, uh, nitrogen is present we know at the earth surface uh, almost entirely as gaseous diatomic molecule. Now, the question is uh, whether nitrogen, we know that nitrogen is a very inert gas and the question is that whether the nitrogen, the nitrogen and nitrogen the bond is single bond, double bond or triple bond. Actually the nitrogen nitrogen bond is a triple bond and many people call nitrogen as just nitrogen, but this should be called most appropriately this should be called as dinitrogen. We all know that it is a very stable molecule and the energy of dissociation is very high 945 kilojoule per mole. It is the largest of any diatomic molecule except carbon monoxide. That means it is a very stable molecule and inert molecule. The because of this inertness it does not react very easily. We sometimes we use the nitrogen atmosphere in many reactions to keep the uh, atmosphere uh, very inert and sometimes uh, we mix nitrogen to dilute the oxygen we mix the nitrogen. Uh, in the gas cylinder, oxygen cylinder which is used by the divers and we know that uh, usually I uh, when I ask to the students that uh, can you tell me that uh, whether uh, nitrogen is more soluble in water or oxygen is more soluble in water. In 99 percent cases I, I get the answer that oxygen is more soluble. But actually nitrogen is more soluble than oxygen in water. We know that with temperature the solubility varies. So, uh, we know that oxygen at 0 degree centigrade the solubility is around 14 milligram per liter. But if we see the solubility of nitrogen at that temperature we will see it is around 22, 23 milligram per liter. So, it is quite high compared to oxygen. 
and but most important thing is that we need we do not need the molecular nitrogen but we need the compounds of nitrogen you see the plants plants they take up nitrogen we need nitrogen very much for our biological systems and say for example amino acids proteins dna's urea everywhere we see nitrogen is present but if we see uh, in what form nitrogen is present then we'll see that nitrogen is present in combined state it is not present as just nitrogen that means zero state it is not present in zero state it is present in some other um, forms that is combined forms and the formation of such compounds um, is referred to nitrogen fixation we know oxygen fixation we have seen those who are from environmental uh, engineering background or environmental chemistry background we all know that uh, when we determine the dissolved oxygen do then uh, we use the winkler method and we have to fix the oxygen from the uh, which is there in the water medium we have to fix the oxygen by doing some uh, reaction here also nitrogen when we want to use the nitrogen then we have to fix the nitrogen that means we have to we have to have the combined form combined state of nitrogen combined form of nitrogen and from zero state to any combined state if we can bring then we will tell it that it is nitrogen fixation we have seen that nitrogen you know nitrogen uh, long time back uh, usually for the plant growth we need the nitrate or ammonia we have seen that the fertilizers ammonia fertilizers are there so uh, to for the for the plants to grow we need some combined form of nitrogen that means some nitrogen compounds and um, before the 18th century we were mainly dependent on the Mm, on the uh, uh, say animal waste okay and uh, uh, many minerals say for example saltpeter chili saltpeter nitrate so uh, those things are used for the plant growth but uh, during the late 18th century when the continuous population growth occurred in europe then you know that uh, increased yield of food or crop was required so that was not sufficient what we are getting from natural sources say for example some waste product of animals or some minerals that was not sufficient for to get the enough food we need more food or more crop to grow and that time it was a crying need so that time 1898 sir william crookes addressed the british association that a fixation of atmospheric nitrogen is necessary we have nitrogen enough nitrogen in the atmosphere but that is in zero state and that is no that is not much of no, much use to the plants so what we need we have to have some methods by which we can fix the nitrogen for growing the plants and for uh, to make the uh, food for the crops and you know when something is so much important then what happens then um, a lot of scientists and lot of people they start research to uh, to uh, to make it a success to produce uh, in this case to uh, to fix the nitrogen okay and then you see that within 10 years of this prediction uh, three industrial methods were developed for fixing the atmospheric nitrogen three methods what are the three methods electric arc process cyanamide process haber boss process haber boss process i repeatedly i told in my earlier lectures that what is haber boss process and uh, this is a, this is a very good example of nitrogen fixation uh, still it is in use to make the fertilizers and these methods i will show you um, how we can uh, we can fix the nitrogen by using these two methods 
electric arc process Cavendish actually he first observed that when nitrogen and oxygen are mixed together and il, uh, electric arc is passed to, to that then the temperature generated is very high then what will happen that nitrogen and oxygen will combine to form NO. So, this method was uh, suggested by Cavendish in 1780s and now uh, after so many years you know that that method was utilized to form the uh, com some combined state of nitrogen that is the nitric acid here. So, what happened nitrogen and oxygen at high temperature through this, this, uh, this process. So, they combine to form the nitric oxide and then nitric oxide in presence of oxygen it forms the uh, nitrogen dioxide and nitrogen dioxide it is actually anhydride of uh, some acids of uh, nitrogen and uh, I have not written the complete equation, but just to briefly to say that NO2 upon reaction with water it forms the nitric acid. But you can see here this is a very costly process. Okay, to de to generate such a such a high temperature by electric arc, it is very costly thing. And second process, cyanamide process, you can see here that calcium oxide solid plus carbon. When uh, it is it is also at high temperature, you can see it forms the calcium carbide and carbon monoxide. And this calcium carbide when reacts with nitrogen, you can see here nitrogen in zero state it is coming to nitrate ok. So, it is a, a some, some type of fixation. Here also you can see that nitrogen when reacts with calcium carbide it forms the calcium cyanamide and then this calcium cyanamide when reacts with water then you see that calcium hydroxide, carbon dioxide and ammonia is produced. So, you can see here that nitrogen is coming here as uh, is converted to ammonia. So, this is also a process by which nitrogen is fixed. This method is also costly because here also high temperature is required. Next Haberbosch process this I have uh, I have explained already and you have seen that it is done at very high pressure 200 atmosphere pressure and 550 degree centigrade and in presence of catalyst uh, finely divided iron as catalyst sometime molybdenum is used as a promoter. This process is also very uh, is not energy efficient process, but this process was so much useful and so much important uh, at that time that Haber got the Nobel prize that also I, exp I discussed. Uh, the yield is also very low here uh, and there are a lot of processes uh, have been tried to, in, to increase the yield, but still you see um, this process got the Nobel prize. Still it is a challenge how you can fix the nitrogen, still it is a challenge why because we always need nitrogen for plant growth and um, for uh, our food to grow you know. So, uh, this is very important uh, still today. Now, nitrogen fixation you can see here that there are many methods actually what we have seen that nitrogen are by in the electric arc process that um, combination of nitrogen and oxygen um, to form the nitric oxide it is happening in the atmosphere. It is happening why when there is thunderstorm, there is lightning, then you know in the atmosphere there is always nitrogen and oxygen. So, uh, they all they combine automatically to form the NO and then NO in presence of oxygen here in the atmosphere it forms NO2 and when the rain comes then water is coming there. So, it is dissolved and then it forms the nitrate. So, you can see here that nitrate can go to uh, go here. Um, in the soil or it can uh, ultimately it can um, go to the ground water or it can be um, it can go to any river water, pond water uh, as a runoff. So, uh, this in the in the natural process this is the atmospheric fixation it is going on all the time ok. Now, there is the industrial fixation that I also discussed like electric arc process Haber process those are uh, those are um, industrial fixation. Now, biological fixation what is biological fixation? 
you know that there are many plants um, where say for example, peas ok. They are in the if you notice in the nodule uh, they are in the root there are some nodules ok, where some microorganisms grow ok. When these microorganisms uh, the speciality of the microorganisms is that they can uh, fix the nitrogen from the atmosphere. It is type of uh, symbiosis, it is called symbiosis that means given and taken policy. So, it is fixing the nitrogen, it is uh, converting the nitrogen to uh, some combined form and that combined form of nitrogen is taken up by the plant who has given a, a given the microorganism shelter in their no, uh, roots in the nodules ok. Uh, so, th this is this is biological fixation. We can see that nit the I already told you that nitrogen is a very stable molecule. So, breaking the bond is uh, that nitrogen nitrogen triple triple bond is very difficult, but you can see here that in nature it is going on so smoothly the microorganisms can do it in very mild way. This is nature this is nature ok and then you can uh, you can see that this uh, it is coming to um, as ammonia and then uh, here you can see that uh, this um, uh, from ammonia it can be oxidized to uh, nitrite or it can uh, further oxidize to nitrate. These are also uh, um, carried out by some microorganisms say for example, nitrosomonas nitrobacter group of microorganisms and then you can see that nitrate is uh, here you can see that nitrate uh, reduction uh, through nitrate reduction or even the nitrate in the soil that can be taken up by the animals or uh, um, plants first plants and then plants um, uh, we eat plants uh, we eat uh, uh, the fruits the crops all those things. So, it goes to animal uh, and then uh, from animal as a waste product it can go here um, or sometimes the plants uh, when they die then uh, they come to the again the soil to the soil and then they are um, the say for example, the protein molecules they are degraded to ammonia again from ammonia you see that uh, same way it is coming here. So, uh, this is some type of cycle you know, sometimes the nitrate uh, upon reduction you can see that uh, this is um, uh, some forms of oxides it can produce and then uh, denitrate this step is called denitrification and then it can go to the atmospheric uh, nitrogen uh, in the atmosphere and uh, it forms the cycle. So, th these are the different uh, processes going on in the nature. Uh, now, why nitrogen is so much interesting? Because you know from the periodic table that nitrogen is uh, belongs to group 5 and then uh, the highest oxidation state is uh, 5. You see that here nitrogen in ammonia it is minus 3 oxidation state in nitrogen it is 0 it has so many oxidation state in N 2 O it is 1 plus 1 then N O uh, this is plus 2 then N 2 O 3 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. So, this is the highest oxidation state. So, it has several oxidation state these are all written as oxides, but it can be say for example, here nit nitrous acid nitric acid nitrite nitrate here nitrate and uh, nitrite here. So, uh, these are the different forms of nitrogen that they can it can exist. So, it is a very interesting chemistry it gives a very interesting chemistry, in, but in the aquatic system you know that organic derivatives which are also decomposed say for example, protein molecules they can decompose uh, to to produce um, ammonia and then nitrogen it is also in the aquatic system I told you that nitrogen can be dissolved in uh, water. Um, so, uh, it is in 0 state and then uh, nitrite nitrate also can be formed and they are present in aquatic systems. Some other forms they are not very uh, very um, common like uh, this uh, plus 2 state or plus 4 state they are not very common. Now, you can see here nitrate how they are uh, they are converted nitrate you see in presence of carbon dioxide green plants and uh, the um, uh, light 
you know it can form protein then this this is the rhizobium group of bacteria that i told you just now microorganisms that can fix the nitrogen directly to form protein then here uh, ammonia also can be converted to protein urea uh, can uh, form uh, urea uh, comes as the waste product of animals Okay, and then it can uh, by the action of urease it can form the ammonium carbonate. Now, protein you know it is a very complex molecule, so it can be degraded by microorganisms to form the ammonia or ammonium ion by the action of bacteria. Okay, so these are the different things that going on in the nature with with nitrogen compounds. Okay, very interesting uh, chemistry. Now, nitrogen cycle this nitrification you know nitrification and denitrification. Nitrification you have uh, you can tell that when ammonia, ammonia uh, in presence of oxygen forms nitrite ok. This is by uh, the back some special group of bacteria which is nitrosomonas bacteria ok. And uh, the next step the nitrites can be oxidized again to form nitrates. This is nitrobacter group of bacteria. This, this process is called nitrification. You, you have seen in the um, BOD determination, uh, we always do the 5 day BOD. 5 day BOD uh, because, uh, but why we do the 5 day BOD? Why not 7 day BOD? Why not 10 day BOD? Okay. Because after um, after uh, 5 day uh, the bacteria uh, nitrogen uh, this type of bacteria they, uh, they oxidize the nitrogenous compounds like ammonia. Okay. So, ammonia uh, is oxidized by the oxygen uh, there uh, and it is called the NBOD up to 5 day it is CBOD. So, it is the conversion of carbon. Um, that is present in the organic molecules to carbon dioxide. After that the nitrogen uh, containing compounds also that co nitrogen containing compounds uh, 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 they also uh, take part in this type of comp um, reactions to form the nitrites and nitrates. Okay. So, the, that means this oxygen this is the dissolved oxygen that is present in water. Okay, so, it is giving to NBOD. So, this is the thing that is happening and it is called nitrification, but what is denitrification? In presence of D, it is also done by some uh, some type of bacteria and it is the denitrifying bacteria. Okay, what is happening? Denitrifying bacteria um, um, due to the this type of bacteria nitrates are converted to nitrogen or this is reduction. You see that uh, in nitrogen what is the oxidation state it is a zero state and what and in ammonia what is the oxidation state it is minus um, minus 3 states and um, uh, in the denitrification you can see the opposite process is going on. So, here it is say for example, um, NO 2 minus it is say oxidation state is of nitrogen is plus uh, 3 here it is plus 5. So, plus 3 it is going to 0 or plus 5 it is going to 0. So, this is the um, uh, reduction. So, denitrification means a reduction process and nitrification means oxidation process and uh, under, under some special uh, atmosphere it happens. Okay. Oxidizing atmosphere this thing can happen and reducing atmosphere this thing can happen. Those are uh, dealing with the environmental engineering they all know this type of processes uh, very well. Okay. The treatment processes um, of waste water how we deal with it. So, uh, they, it is very familiar to them. But this is the this is the mechanism, or this is the um, means um, briefly I can tell that these things are happening. Now nitrogen cycle, uh, nitrogen fixation. I told you what is nitrogen fixation. Now nitrogen cycle, it is um, a similar thing uh, uh, shown in a different way. You can see that at this uh, atmospheric nitrogen. And then this is um, this is the chemical and atmospheric uh, atmospheric synthesis of nitrate that you can see that by lightning it can happen nitrogen and oxygen combine and then water is coming uh, so it is forming the nitrites then it is 
it is it is forming the uh, nitrate and then this denitrification can happen to form to again uh, 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 some atmospheric nitrogen is produced uh, through the denitrification. Now, here you, you can see this side that uh, nitrogen fixation by microorganisms that uh, biological fixation you know sometimes uh, in the villages what we use in between two main crops we grow the peas. Okay. Why? Because uh, you know that uh, there are some um, this type of bacteria present in the roots. So, when the those plants die then it is automatically mixed in the soil and then uh, the soil is uh, soil becomes uh, more uh, rich in nitrogen. So, it is green manure type. So, uh, automatically it is uh, uh, it is um, nitrogen rich it is becoming. So, many people do this type of uh, uh, cultivation between two crops in the villages I have seen. Now, when this type of uh, nitrogen uh, fixing bacteria they, uh, they are present in the plants. So, it is the biological fixation and nitrogen in organic matter we all know that it is present um, as say for example, in amines it can form or amino acids it can uh, it can be uh, present as amino group and then when it is decayed by microorganisms they form the uh, ammonia or ammonium ion. Now, from ammonia or ammonium ion it can form uh, nitrites uh, like I told already that nitrosomonas bacteria and finally, by nitrobacter group of bacteria it can form the nitrate. And again this from the nitrates or from the nitrates I told you that through denitrification it can go back to the atmospheric nitrogen. So, basically it is a cycle there are different forms you can see different oxidation states and different processes are going on to, to, um, to um, carry out this type of processes. Um, some are uh, natur naturally occurring in the atmosphere. Uh, and some are naturally occurring uh, by the microorganisms and um, like this. So, uh, you can see here uh, very interesting chemistry for nitrogen um, which is also very very important for our uh, daily you know lives. Now, uh, the references for uh, this uh, um, this uh, nitrogen uh, cycle or nitrogen fixation you can get from any books that is there, but um, these two books I can prescribe it is very go good book. So, this book you, you already know that chemistry of science um, uh, of change um, I already referred for, uh, for my previous lectures and this book the Sauer McCarthy book this is also I referred in my earlier lectures chemistry for environmental engineering uh, you can read uh, from these two books. Now, in this uh, lecture um, this is the conclusion. So, in this lecture and uh, I have discussed about the nitrogen nitrogen you know that it has great practical importance and it has a varied and interesting chemistry. Nitrogen exhibits a range of oxidation states from minus 3 to plus 5. It is essential for uh, life and to our daily food. In this lecture the nitrogen chemistry and nitrogen cycle is discussed and nitrogen fixation is elaborated. Thank you so much.